Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? Have you ever done a video and got all the way done with it and there at the end, you know, you go back and you're going to edit it and you find out you got no audio, none. Well, that's what I did. So I'm doing it again here and I'm just going to keep it real short. Tomorrow, no, or October 27th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, American Blackout on National Geographic. American Blackout, National Geographic, uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm going to be watching it. I certainly am. I would recommend that everybody does. I don't know what it's about exactly, but here's what we do know. We know that there is going to be a Grid X 2 November power grid drill. We know that it's supposed to be a simulation. We know that it will be on November 13th and 14th. Uh, you get out there and you start researching this and you find out that it includes the United States, parts of Canada, and Mexico. You will not be able to find out if the grid is actually going to be turned off for those two days or if it will not be turned off. Supposedly it's for communication in case of a uh, in case of a cyber attack. Uh, I would suggest that everybody be prepared just in case because as we know these simulations don't go well they uh, always leave a big skid mark. There's always a problem. Something bad always happens on their simulations, on their drills. So we should look at it as a possibility of not having the grid for a couple days. Um, what would you do in your home if the grid did go down? Have you thought about that? Have you ever been sitting, we were sitting yesterday, working on our computers. In fact, I was on the phone. I was on the phone talking to one of the other YouTube sisters here. And all of a sudden, the power went off. And when it did, I lost my phone, hung up on her instantly. We lost our computer. It was black in here, absolutely pitch black. And it happened just like that. Well, if the grid goes down, that's what happens. You have no power. You might as well go back into the 1800s. It's, it would be like living in the 1800s. So, you know, do you are you prepared for it in your home? Could you live, could you take care of your family in the 1800 fashion? Do you have a wood stove and or fireplace with a hearth? Do you have plenty of warm clothing, warm bedding? Do you have sleeping bags, gloves, hats, warm, warm stuff? I mean, it is November coming up. Do you have water and food? Do you have uh, firewood? Do you have... Um, the means of cooking without electricity because your microwave ain't gonna work it certainly isn't you know uh, do you have tools and equipment and do you have an axe so you can go out and get wood do you have uh, a wood saw a manual wood saw because you're not going to be able to get fuel to fill your chainsaw 
You certainly aren't. You're not even going to be able to get fuel for your vehicles. No. Uh, everything's controlled by the grid. Are you prepared to live like they did in the 1800s? If the grid ever went down, that's what you'd have to do. You know, okay, do you have seeds? Can you plant a garden? Do you have a, a shovel, a hoe, a rake? Do you? Do you have the seeds? Do you have a greenhouse? Um, first aid. First aid equipment. Do you have medications? What about the medications? Have you thought about that? So many people living on pharmaceutical drugs. Seems like everybody I talk to is on some form of Prozac or something. You know, it's sad. W what about the medications? Living like the 1800s. Well, if the grid ever went down, that's what you'd have to do. You certainly would. You know, in, in researching this, I remembered seeing it back in August in the New York Times. Uh, I didn't give much thought to it at the time until I saw this American blackout on National Geographic. And there's so many things going on right now. We've got 35 world leaders that are peeved, I mean really upset, with the administration over this NSA spying on their leaders. So uh, we've got people like Germany and uh, France, Brazil, Mexico, uh, all of them upset. So times are real shaky right now, unpredictable, very and we need to be prepared. There is one article that says, out of all the articles, and I, I went through, researched this and researched it, and I keep seeing the word simulation, simulation, simulation drill, simulation. But in one article, supposedly this guy wrote to Bill Lawrence, who is supposed to be the man in charge of the North American Utility Reliability Corporation, North American Utility Reliability Corporation. He's supposed to be in charge of it. And uh, he wrote him and asked him, you know, uh, is the grid going to be turned off? Are we going to have the electricity off? And according to his uh, blog, where he puts this information, and it is the Sphinx Stargate. Uh, this guy wrote back one little three sentence paragraph and he says NERC is running a simulated exercise to practice crisis response and information sharing. No real power outage will occur due to this exercise. The scenario does not involve EMP. So it doesn't involve EMP. Hmm. But it is uh, supposed to be for information sharing so that they can talk through what is taking place. I don't know, guys. You know, I want you to write this down. You got a pencil there close. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Write this down. Executive Order 13603. Executive Order 13603. Go and read it. Read it. If the grid were to go down, if there was something catastrophic that happened in the United States, if war broke out, if, 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 if your uh, 
government that executive order drawn up, typed up by some little secretary, laid out in front of Obama, and Obama signed it, says that they own everything that you have. If there is something that happens, they have the right. FEMA and Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has the right to walk in or break your door down and take everything that you've got. Everything. Family garden, your food stockpiles, your medications, your equipment, your tools. Absolutely everything. They have the right to confiscate every bit of it. Go read it. It's real. He signed it. And uh, it's time for us to get rid of that. That needs to go. How does that happen? Well, he needs to uh, not just be impeached. He needs to be prosecuted for all these crimes. And when he's prosecuted, uh, everything that he's done is taken out. If he's not prosecuted, if he's just impeached, these could stand unless we get a hold of our House of Representatives and our Congress and everybody and we say, absolutely not. This is not acceptable and demand that this stuff stops. I don't know. We need solutions. We certainly do. But this simulation is something that we need to be paying attention to, my friends. Will the grid actually go down? Will there be a problem? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, I only found one article that said, absolutely not, the power will not be turned off. That it's just for chitter-chatter back and forth to analyze the situation. Back in 2011, they did this. And uh, I guess they come up with a grade of a D plus for our grid. You know, our grid's not really up to date. Of course, they've been working on it, I guess. But who knows? Who knows? Where do you find the truth? Where do you find the truth? Well, you find the truth right here where people work together to uh, get the truth. And that's what it's going to take. So, guys, let's do it. And uh, we can get through it. And are you ready to live like they did in the 1800s? Get it all ready. If you never use it, you never have to. Bravo! But should something happen, you will know what to do. And believe me, there's plenty of information out here on YouTube. There are books that you can go to your public library and get. You can find out how to do this. Even the old homesteader books will tell you what to do. How to set up camp. How to build a fire. How to cook on on a fire instead of a burner and uh, without a microwave so guys we can do this we certainly can we need to stay vigilant pay attention watch what's going on be sure and watch the American blackout on National Geographic tomorrow Sunday the 27th and like I said Pacific time will be 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock Mountain, 8 o'clock Central, and 9 o'clock Eastern. Turn your TVs on, sit down with your family, watch. Our children are going to watch too. And if it gets graphic, if there's anything bad, we will explain to them. They need to know what could happen in a... Uh, S-H-T-F situation. 
They need to know what to do and why they need to listen and follow instructions. Do what we say. They need to know. Not in a fearful way. In an instructional way. So, great big hugs. Whole bunch of love. And comments down below. I'm trying to get all the replies done, guys. I'm behind. Links in the show more. Check this stuff out yourself. Catch you guys later.